Hi, I'm Sara. I'm Creative Market Manager at Arduino and I work at the Swedish Arduino office. I often receive questions about counterfeit products, what it is and how you can avoid purchasing one by mistake. For that reason, I have put together this crash course. I hope that this will be helpful for you when sourcing for Arduino products. First, we need to get the definitions clear so that we all know what we're talking about. It's common to believe that since Arduino is open source, also the word and the logo can be used free. But that is not the case. The counterfeit product is when someone other than Arduino uses the trademark belonging to Arduino directly on a product. It's illegal to manufacture and sell counterfeit products. There are also a lot of products on the market that are compatible with Arduino technology. This means that they have used the open source design and use their own brand name on this product. We are really happy to see that there are so many products out there that are based on Arduino. It is just important to remember to not use Arduino as a name for compatible products. It's not always easy to see if a board is a counterfeit or an original, but there are a couple of details that often give it away. In particular, we look at the color of the board, the self-design, the logo, and the components. We will use the Arduino Uno in this crash course, but you can use the same tips and tricks when looking at other Arduino boards as well. Arduino boards are in teal color, Counterfeit boards are often dark blue. Counterfeit products tend to copy old silk designs. Even if you prefer to purchase locally, it can be a good idea to take a look at arduino.cc and the product photos that we use there. On the silk design, you can look at the trademark symbol that should be a circled R and how well the letters are defined. If you compare what you see here with the counterfeit board on the next slide, you will see the difference. Notice the wrong trademark symbol, the filled in letters, and also the use of different fonts on the board. Finally, take a look at the overall execution, such as sloping components. I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any other questions about how to properly use Arduino's trademarks, say that you are making your own compatible product, writing a book or a blog, hosting an event or a workshop, whatever it is, just send me an email and I will help you out. Thank you. In addition to how a board looks, it can be good to know what tricks that are being used to sell counterfeit products. It's easy to get carried away when you want to make a good deal, but remember to look at details such as pricing, photos and keywords. If this price sounds too good to be true, it's time to get suspicious. You can compare the price to our store on arduino.cc. There may be differences, but it should not be far from it. It's also important to look at all the photos, often a mix of photo of an original board and a photo of counterfeit board is used. In this case, the listing only shows a photo of an original Arduino Uno, but the price is too low and the word clone is used in the product title. Another relevant thing about product photos is that if they are all shot in an angle, blurry or not possible to enlarge, that is also a reason to get suspicious. Keep in mind that Arduino is the only manufacturer of Arduino products and we manufacture all our products in Italy. I often see boards sold with the description official Arduino made in China or Arduino Uno official Chinese version. No such thing exists. If you are in the process of purchasing Arduino products and you are unsure if you are buying an original or a counterfeit, you can always contact me or our tech support and we will help you. Thank you.